welcome to Akshita's recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by. So today I have compiled four recipes that I was I made during the week or the weekend, and I took a, tom, a common theme which is chicken, and I showed you four recipes so you can choose and make any one of them, make all of them. Let me know if you want to watch videos like this where I take a particular ingredient, for example, potatoes, and I show you three or four recipes of potatoes, so you can go and choose and make what you like or make all of them. So I hope you like today's video. Also. I have left a small little quiz about, uh, it's called assumptions about me or assumptions about Akshata. So I've just left 10 questions down in the comments box below as well as the description box below. Uh, and uh, you know, I've given you options. So uh, for example, the first one is what do you think I am? Do you think I'm a dog lover or do you think I love cats more? Am I scared of cats or am I terrified of dogs? So I want you to choose from the options and uh, even if you have some other assumptions about me that you would like to let me know, I would love to hear from you guys. I actually go and I read all your comments, I reply to them and I love listening to all of your comments, I love hearing from all of you guys. So uh, I hope you do take the quiz and I hope you let me know what do you think about me. I want this quiz to be answered by even people who know me really, really, really well as well as those of you who have been watching me for quite a while now and for those of you who have just begun watching Akshada's recipes so do answer the quiz I want to know what you think about me so without a much further ado let's head on and make these four dishes but let me remind you to like subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss out anything happening on this channel so guys let's get started so for our chicken kadai I've taken about three medium-sized tomatoes and chopped off the tip of the tomatoes and cut them into halves. And now I have about four cups of water boiling. I'm going to add these tomatoes to this for about five minutes, five to ten minutes. And once they are at room temperature, after taking them out of the water, I'm just going to peel them and puree them. Now I'm going to take about 150 grams of boneless chicken breast cut into cubes and just fry them in one tablespoon of oil. Now in a pan, I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil in a pan or a kadai and I'm going to fry one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. I have a recipe for homemade ginger garlic paste. I'll leave that in the description box below. Fry that very well. After that, add this tomato puree that we have prepared and fry that very well too. Now we're just going to add about one tablespoon of coriander powder or dhania powder. I have a recipe for this in uh, on my channel. I'll leave a link below. And of course, one teaspoon of jeera or cumin powder too. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of red chili powder and one teaspoon of Kashmir chili powder and half a teaspoon of haldi or turmeric powder. We're going to give all of this a nice mix and fry everything well. Now I'm going to just be adding about one teaspoon of crushed kasuri methi. And then we're going to add this chicken that we have fried to it. And we're going to mix everything well together. Now once that is done, we're just going to add some salt to taste. We're going to cover this and cook this on a low to medium flame for about five to seven minutes. After that, we're just going to add about half a cup of homemade dahi and our delicious kadai chicken is ready. All you need to do is just add a little bit of coriander for garnish. And you can serve this with some rice or some naan or some roti. It tastes simply divine and it's so very simple to make. It gets ready in a couple of minutes. Now after this delicious kadai chicken recipe, our next recipe is a very quick chicken rice which doesn't take any time, much time to prepare and the end result is simply delicious. Now here, I this is how the rice looks once it's ready. And you will want to make this all the time. Now what we need for this dish 
is I'm using one large onion which I've just sliced. Then I've sliced one medium capsicum. Then I have a ginger, garlic and green chili coarsely ground paste. Then I have a few kishmish or raisins and a few cashew nuts, some potatoes, which again I've sliced, some clarified butter and some pre-cooked rice. I have a recipe for how I cook my rice. I'll leave that in the description box below. I've put the potatoes in the water so that they don't blacken. They've peeled a raw potato and cut them into slices. And this is the cooked rice. It's not sticky. It's very, very easy to work with so check out how I prepare my rice in the description box below I have a link for the same now in a pan I'm just going to add about one tablespoon of oil first I'm going to add my potatoes after draining the water and I'm going to fry them till they're nice and golden brown I'm also going to be adding some the capsicum to the pan and fry them till the capsicum is also nice and crispy Now once the capsicum and the potatoes get fried, as each of them gets done, we're going to take them out and put them into a plate separately. Now I've taken out the capsicum in a plate and I've added the onion and I'm going to fry the onions till they're golden brown. Now once the onions are done, we're going to add some chicken sausages, which I've just cut up into thin slices, and I'm going to fry them. And then I'm also going to fry my cashew nuts and the kishmish, and I'm going to keep them aside too. Now in a pan, I'm going to add one tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter. I'm going to add the onions, and I'm going to add the ginger, garlic, and green chili paste. Then I'm going to add the capsicum and the fried potatoes, some pepper powder, the sausages which we fried, and the rice. And I'm going to give everything a good mix and some salt to taste too. And our rice is all ready. This is such a lovely soul food kind of dish. It just makes you feel all warm and cozy inside. Now our next recipe is a very easy chicken salad which gets ready in no time. This salad is so 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 delicious. It's one of my favorite salads. And the sauce has been made by my hubby. He's come up with this mixture of, you know, this lovely sauce. So first I'm going to start by, you know, uh, soaking my lettuce in some salt water to get rid of all the dirt and grime. Give it a good thorough rinse and then you're going to pat it dry, completely dry with a nice dry kitchen towel. Don't be very harsh with it. Just gently tap it with a cloth and ensure that it is nice and dry. Now, once it's nice and dry, transfer it to a plate or a bowl. And then you're going to refrigerate them for at least 15 minutes because we want them to be nice and crispy in our salad. Now, after you finish refrigerating it for about 15 minutes, you're just going to roughly tear them up, you know, by hand. Into some rough sized pieces. You don't have to chop it up with your hands, just roughly tear them up and put them back into the refrigerator till we're ready to assemble our salad. Now we have to get our chicken ready. So we have to take a pan and heat the pan up nice and hot on a low to medium flame. Once the pan is hot, we're just going to add one tablespoon of oil. I like using olive oil extra virgin olive oil so just heat up the extra virgin olive oil once that is there, done just add your boneless chicken breasts to the pan and just sear them on both sides till they change from a pink to a nice white color ensure that all of the chicken is white that is it's fried well 
Now we're going to start adding our seasoning. I'm going to start by adding one teaspoon of pepper powder. You can always increase the quantity as per your liking. We're going to add some salt to taste. We're going to add some Italian seasoning, or you can even add just, you know, oregano and um, chili flakes. And then I'm going to be adding some smoked paprika. If you don't have smoked paprika, you can just use regular chili powder according to taste. And just fry this all very well so that it has a nice fry. It's all fried. Then cool it down to complete to room temperature. And then we're just going to chop it up into small cubes. So this is the second element of our salad. And then we come to the second, uh, the third element, which is getting the bread ready. So I'm just going to be toasting four brown uh, slices of brown bread, or you can use whole wheat bread, white bread, whatever bread you like using. Toast it up completely till it's nice and golden brown and crispy. You can use a toaster too. I like doing it on the tawa, although I have a toaster, I like the tawa effect. Then just cut it up lengthwise like this into equal slices. And then you're going to cut them breathwise. So that way you'll get equal sized croutons. And once that is done, just put them into a bowl and keep them aside. Now, once you've removed the chicken, please retain that oil. It's got a lot of flavor, and I'll tell you why later. So now the fourth and final element of our salad is the sauce. So I'm going to take some mayonnaise in a bowl, about four tablespoons. Then I'm going to crush up about three cloves of garlic in my uh, pestle, mortar and pestle. And then I'm just going to scoop it out and add that to my mayonnaise. Then I'm going to be adding pepper powder, one teaspoon of pepper powder. This is homemade pepper powder. I have a recipe for that. I'll leave it in the description box below. Then we're going to add one teaspoon of mustard sauce. Then we have the next three important sauces which go into this lovely salad dressing, which is Sri Racha, the sweet onion and Tabasco. If you don't have all these sauces in your house, you have to get them. There's no other alternative, guys. Add all of these sauces. We use them in so many things and they just have such a yummy flavor. They make every dish seem just fabulous. And then just add some red chili flakes. If you don't have red chili flakes, just use a, a little bit of Kashmiri chili powder. But the red chili flakes do that's the job better. And last but not the least, we're just going to drizzle in this extra virgin olive oil, about one teaspoon. That makes this dressing complete. It gives a lovely nutty, smoky flavor and it just elevates the level of this dressing. And now we're going to mix all of these things together and keep it aside. And I told you to retain the oil. That's the reason we're going to put these kurtons back into the oil, start the stove on again and just coat this with this amazing oil which has so much of flavor in it and it just brings the dish to another level. And now guys, it's time to assemble the lovely chicken salad. This is my favorite part. Actually, you know, you can just prepare all these separate elements and keep them in your fridge. And when you're hungry, just bring them all together. So in a bowl, just tear up the, the leaves. Or you can just, you know, I told you to tear them up later. Just put them into a bowl. You're going to add the lovely chicken to the leaves. Next goes in these lovely fried kurtons. You can just eat the kurtons all by themselves. They're so yummy. And then you're going to add, and then you're going to add this amazing salad dressing. This is my husband Abhijit's innovation. Me and my nephew Satvijit have been telling him to patent it. And it is just awesome. He just came up with this. He is so innovative, my husband, Abhi, that this is finger licking delicious. So just add that and just mix all of this together and make this amazing chicken salad. You can have it whenever hunger strikes and you never get bored of it. This is a big hit at my home. 
all four of us, me, my hubby, Ira, and Arin, my kids just love it. And now some of the elements are very similar in our next and last recipe, which is this chicken club sandwich. So we're going to prepare the leaves in the same way that we did for the uh, for the salad. But just chop them up this time. You can't roughly cut them up. You have to chop them up smaller. You're going to need one cucumber, a thin, a slicely, a thinned, slicely, sorry, thinly sliced. Now the same chicken. What you're going to do is you're going to shred it rather than cube it. You're going to shred it. And uh, we're going to take mayonnaise, again, about two tablespoons of mayonnaise in a bowl. We're going to add our salad leaves, which we've uh, chopped up into the bowl. Or you can even roughly just tear them, whatever you like. It's more tasty when you just tear them. Then you're going to add the chicken and you're just going to give all of this a good, good, good mix. Now we're going to add our salt and pepper. We use a lot of pepper in our house. I love the taste of pepper. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to toast or grill three slices of bread. So each sandwich uses three slices of bread. And now we're going to be ready to assemble everything. All we require more is just some shredded cheese. So now we're ready to assemble this amazing club sandwich. So first we're going to apply this mixture that we prepared onto one of the toasted slices. We're going to cover it with one of the other slices. We're going to place the cucumber on top of these slices. Once that is done, we're going to put a little bit of shredded cheese on the cucumbers and then all we're left to do is we just cover up the entire sandwich with the third toasted slice of bread and that's it your your club sandwich is all ready now you just cut it up into any shape that you like i like to go with the triangular shape and this sandwich is so so yummy you can carry it to work you can give it to your kids you can just have it whenever you feel like it's yeah, amazing. You can just make this filling of the mayo and the chicken and just leave it in your refrigerator and make it whenever you want. And just to spice up things, a little chips on the side and some cucumber and you're all set. Now you can also add tomatoes. I had added tomatoes in my recipe, which I put up last year. Even that is good, but we all are not big fans of tomatoes, but you can add them. So I hope you liked today's recipes and if you want to see more videos where I compile three or four recipes together so you get an idea and you can choose any one you want, then uh, please let me know in the comments box, guys. Give this video a big like because when you like my videos, then I come to know that, okay, these guys want to see more videos like this. And... Uh, you know what you have to do. If you haven't subscribed yet, just hit the red subscribe button, click the bell so you won't miss out anything that's happening in Akshita's recipes. Share the word about Akshita's recipes with family and friends. Go visit my channel if you're new to my channel. I have so many recipes, guys. And thanks so much for watching my uh, videos and supporting Akshita's recipes. Take care and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.